That's all from the newsroom for now. Good morning. All right, Sarah Jane, thank you. Now it's 9.33. Marty in the morning on RT Lyric FM with the Irish Times. Diverse opinion, thorough reporting, outstanding writing, online and in the paper. You're listening to Marty in the morning on 96 to 99, RTE Lyric FM. Hey, now we give you... Uh uh, now, I mentioned Hayley Weston. Oh, just before Hayley, I see um, um, Kelly Esmond has been on. Kelly says, easy, Kelly. Would you please play the first movement of Tui's My Little Honda 50 in CC minor? <laughs> Very good. Now, Hayley Weston, our lads. Tones of Hayley Weston right here down the line. It is. It is. <laughs> How are you, Monty? <laughs> very good, Hayley. And all the better for hearing your voice this morning. Ah, it's all very sweet of you. All the better for hearing you. And you're on your way back to us. I am indeed. You're shameless. Very you soon. Keep coming back, which I think is terrific. And uh, <laughs> I'm delighted. Listen, first things first, uh, belated birthday greetings. We didn't get to talk to you in April. And, Thank you very much. Uh, just to get that, no, just to get that That's, in now, it's very important. I am, I'm very impressed you uh, noted that. I remember things. Did Listen, you? <laughs> you have so many fans in Ireland, as you are well aware, they wouldn't let me let the morning pass when it was your birthday. So don't you be worrying. <laughs> I, they, they keep me in touch all the time because you have many great fans here, as you know. So um, it seems to be very important, even if you are an international lady of mystery now. Oh. Now listen, <laughs> I've had a look. I've you've changed. You you look very different. You look very you look very rock and roll on the new photograph I'm looking at. Do I now? You Which do. one is that? I wonder. It's the one that's. that's it. I've cut my hair. That could be it. You have, and it's all kind of ruffled, and um, <laughs> that does black eyeliner and everything going on here. Oh, is there now? <laughs> yes, it certainly is. So you be pulling out all the stops. Well, it, yeah, it looks like you're going to be rocking the Orty Concert Orchestra in the National Concert Hall when you come. Anyway, look, it's all happening on Saturday, the 11th of June, and we're looking forward to it because um, uh, every time you come, you wow the audience. Now, I've had a look at the program. It's very different, isn't it? This time you've kind of. Oh, you have the changed. program. Oh, yeah. So it's um, it's kind. Kind of well, I mean, every time I, I I do a show in a city, I want to make sure that it's different from the last show. Yes, I know. So um, the last time I was there, so it's been fun putting together a set list for this concert because I've been spending the majority of the last couple of years just writing yes. um, for a new album, and I've haven't really been doing too many too many gigs. No. Um, so I've kind of had a good time putting together the songs for the show, and I've I've got some new arrangements done. I'm doing some new covers um, and some original songs as well. I'm going to be kind of debuting a couple of these new are songs. Your, are these your own songs? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. So, uh, so we have. I have someone um, very talented doing these beautiful orchestral arrangements of the songs, and I get what I ha- what happens is they kind of get sent through to me um, on my email, and I can listen to kind of just demo versions, and yes. they sound really. cool really awesome so I'm, I'm super excited well now uh, I, I noticed some of the songs because again it's, it's, it's trying to find one particular direction then a bit of crossover and whatever whatever uh, but you're going to give a go to, to Wuthering Heights I am oh. I actually you know I, I recorded that back for my on my first album Pure um, back when I was 16 and the label were like no no you can't, you can't do, you can't put that on the album. Right. And uh, I was like adamant that I had to, had to go on the album. Um, and it's, you know, it's kind of, it is a quirky choice, but I, yeah, but that's back I just love singing it. No, I know, but that's 2003, 2004. But, yeah. but, but it's, 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 it's a song to, whatever about putting it on the album to sing live, it could be quite nerve wracking, I suspect. Oh, it's, no, it's fun. I think, oh. you know, Kate Bush is such an incredible, um, not, not only songstress, but, but writer too, of course. So sure. No, I just, just mean a, that you want to get it right. You know, did you really want to do it? Yeah. To, to do it justice because it's... You everyone. just have to inhabit the, the character and just let it, you know, kind of just sweep you away, get, get lost in it, really. Well, good for you, um, you brave thing, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, um, yeah, getting up on stage, it's, it's a funny thing. <laughs> yeah, but you still enjoy it, though. 
Oh, I, I love it. I love what I, I love the the mix of you know of um, just the variety in my life. You know, being in the studio one day writing songs and yeah, just creating something quite solid and and spending putting a lot of hours into it. A show is quite different. You know, it's like you've only got one shot at doing That's it. And, very true. That's and true. And the you know you have that that energy exchange with the audience, and it's just it's a very different thing um, being in the studio to to performing live. Well, so I love sure. doing both. Yeah, and you, and and also the fact that you're working in this way means you're you're working alone a lot of the time too. I expect. Uh, do you mean like in the studio? Yeah, or? when you're writing, yeah. when you're writing and trying to get yeah. the ideas together. Yeah, so. it's well, it's kind of it depends really. I'm, I've been working with a lot of different people and and uh, writing with. I really enjoy writing with other people, so it's kind yeah. of can actually be a lot of fun because it can be quite relaxed. Touring can be more lonely <laughs> in a way because you're kind of, because you're kind of, uh, you're the one sort of carrying the show and you sort of just have to well, that's very get true. yourself into your own zone. Whereas plus, it, with a studio, in a studio, it's a bit more yeah, collaborative. Uh, plus, and with the orchestra, it's not your orchestra. I mean, you arrive and you, you rehearse mm. with the orchestra and then you're on. Um, and yeah. then you, we all wave goodbye and then uh, <laughs> Haley takes the plane to the next venue or whatever it happens to be. <laughs> I'm lucky. I actually, I have my musical director to um, Timothy Evans, he's coming out with me, so he'll be on stage playing piano. So that's you know there is some continuity, but well, and the thing is, I've, I've worked with the 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 RTA Concert Orchestra. Oh, you have um, course. a few times now. Yes, so we do. I know there's a few like friendly faces in the in the orchestra. And, fr- um, I think most of them are friendly. There's a few you'd be. There's a few friendly. that I've, st- I've struck up good conversations <laughs> yeah, with. So, I'm sure you know. yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, another great song that you're going to do, which of course we know from River of Dreams, is Both Sides Now. Yes. And that's such, a, a, and I'm just suddenly realizing we're talking about very iconic uh, f- uh, women writers here when we talk about Kate Bush and Joni Mitchell. True. It's quite interesting. Yeah, I, uh, I tend to, yeah, I tend to pick the, the females. Yeah, but good for you. But both sides yeah. now, Pe- again. Girl power. Well, yeah, well, no harm in that. But again, a great, great song and, and a very oh, yeah. emotional song for so many people and it affects people so hard. Yeah, it's, the thing is, it's really difficult, you know, choosing covers because yes. I'll listen to a Joni Mitchell album and want to cover them all. There's so many great ones that you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to be doing, um, you know, uh, like a tribute sort of <laughs> no, I know, I know, complete I know. tribute yeah, to them. Yeah, but yeah. Um, Both Sides Now is, is one of those songs. It's just so, you know, poetically written and, and uh, I just, yeah, I've been singing it for a while, but I kind of keep it's you know songs change for you of course the and they have different impacts on your life as your life changes exactly yeah and you kind of go oh but suddenly like different lines they jump out at you and they speak to you at different yeah. points in your life rows and flows of angel
Now listen, so, so okay, so we'll be having that. But I noticed, I noticed, uh, there's no any Morricone on the list. Very. No, he's yeah, not there. Very, very good spotting. Well, I think my, my last show at the National Concert Hall, I was, yeah. I did quite a few of the, you the some Morricone songs you from did. parody. So. You know he's huge here, don't you? You do know that. Yeah. I should put some in. Well, I'm just, I listen, I'm just saying. Maybe they need to be on calls or well, something. Uh, well, we'll yeah. There well, we it's just that I remember uh, uh, your album was so incredible with uh, the Roma Sinfonietta. It was just so incredible. And I, I, I thought to myself, she's definitely going to do one of them. And uh, <laughs> I, I think you should, I should, if it's not too late to throw one in. I'm just well, saying. Well, it I'm, might throw everyone into a spin. But, it might. Um, I'd it say might get me in open. trouble, but I could do it. You could I just could say, say I could say Marty says. Yeah. Does so. anybody here know of any Morricone? Do you mind if I play a track from one of my albums? I think that'd be. I'm just. It's look. just sending the music across. They're all like, there's a, you have to send a big stack of orchestral uh, scores. They probably have loads of across. But you know, I we think can they do might have things. a few old Morricone tracks written down here somewhere. Are you still working? <laughs> by the way, are you still doing the UNICEF business? Are you still involved with the? Uh, I UNICEF? am, but I, I haven't done. I'm still in talks with them about a new project oh, I because see. a okay. lot has to kind of come together for it to yes because a lot of people yeah it just has to make sense for a lot of people yeah and you were very it, committed to it I know and, and, and but, yeah, but it I, takes up a lot of time and effort I expect well I, I mean it does but I, I really I'm really keen to, to start up a new one because I just um, yeah well that was a particular I know, I, project wasn't it yeah, I did. I did had a couple of projects running out in in Ghana. Yes, and they were just so rewarding and so uh, just such meaningful work, really, isn't it? You know? oh, for sure. <laughs> Music is is wonderful, and it's what I you know I feel I was born to do. But of course. being in this position, you you know you can help help others in other ways. So um, yeah, I really want to get um, a new project up and running. Well, that's so true. Watch it, this space. Yeah, well, exactly. Because it gives you that opportunity to, um, I know people, it sounds like a cliche to say to give back, but it's not just it's, about that. It's about actually being able to make a difference and that's what you do. Exactly. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. Which strikes me as uh, kind of a, kind of important. Uh, but anyway, listen, I have to play, I, even though you're here and even though it's not on the list, I have to play something from Paradiso. Um, <laughs> I have no option. I have no option. You're talking right. to me, Hayley. Now, yeah, if you were to pick one from from Paradiso, what would mm. be you know what would be your particular favorite? Because we're talking about, of course, the fact that you're singing. So I mean, I love Milena. Now that's just me. Don't uh, mind okay, me. I know I, I love that one too. I Do mean, you? I love uh, Whispers in a Dream. Um, Gabriel's oboe. That yes. one. I really enjoyed. I, I did the lyrics for that one. I did the you lyrics did. for Milena as well, actually. Yes, but, but this is what I'm um, coming to. You did the lyrics for Milena. Yeah. So, so I was giving you um, the little plush there, you see. So. Oh, well, you know. Mm. I see. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know what? We can play Milena if you want. I think you're right. I think I should play it now. It's from the album, for me, one of the finest albums uh, that we that we get to play around this part, uh, Paradiso, the Haley Western ah, album with uh, Mar- any Morricone. No, 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 and the maestro was just so terrific. Away, he was here a, few, a little while ago, and again, a very elderly man, and he's there for the night. He sits and he yeah. conducts, and he's just incredible. Um, he's, he really is. I was in Rome just uh, a lot in, in at the end of last year, and he had like three projects on the go, and so I went I went to the studio to say hi to him, and he was just. 
like <laughs> it's incredible his yeah. his you know his work ethic and he's just so prolific and yeah a very you know what I mean? He man. just, you know, he could just, he could be putting up his feet and <laughs> if he, he wanted could. to, That's but you know, he, 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 he lives and back. breathes. Yeah, his, it, it, his work. it's, it's, it's. Well, I think it's what keeps him going, to be honest. And to be at that age and still want to do it mm. strikes me as, you know, quite something. It, but look, it doesn't yeah. matter what age you are. We're talking. We started out talking about the fact that you celebrated your birthday a few weeks ago. Uh, mm. we're, we're talking about any Morricone being the age he is. Ageless doesn't matter. None of it matters. <laughs> I think about exactly. It, yeah, but it's like Hush about age. Yeah, it's like it's like the, the, your your album Hushabye and those great tracks that we uh, we got from that and you working with Brendan Graham of course I was yeah, yeah. Sleep On which is a beautiful track thank you yeah no it's I've I worked with some very talented people yeah I'm a very lucky girl so. Well, <laughs> yeah, but that's what makes all the difference, isn't it? That along the way you meet people who influence mm. you and, and you help out each other and it, and it just works for everybody then, do you? Yeah, know? yeah, I hope so. So listen, when's the new album going to come? When are we going to get this? Oh, that's a very good question. Now, well, I, uh, can't, I can't help but ask. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite impatient <laughs> myself. I really, I mean, I've been writing for a while now, so I really want to get the music out there, but it's a lot of things have to come together and I just... So I do have to get to this point where I'm actually going, all right, let's choose which songs I'm going to put on the album. And then, yeah, I'd like to say it would be this year, but it's probably going to be... Yeah. Into the next one, into 17. Yeah, if yeah. I'm being realistic, you know. Because again, <laughs> but, but no, I understand. And, and, and in terms of what you're going to be doing for us with the OTA Concert Orchestra on the 11th of June, uh, I noticed like Amazing Grace is in there, which is just such an important mm. song for everybody. Uh, and again, another woman in there, another woman in there, because I suppose people think about the great version that Judy Collins delivered all, um, all those years this ago. That's true, um, yeah. But you're even doing Bridge Over Troubled Water, so you're taking us to all manner of places. It's going to be quite a dynamic show, hopefully. You know, I started out a little more... Well, actually, you know, I sort of, with my first album, Pure, it was quite, there was quite a mix of styles and then I ended up going a little more classical and now I'm yeah. sort of spreading my wings a bit more. And so I kind of, I like to have the slower songs and more intimate songs, songs with a, a bit of a, a groove to them. Sure. You know, obviously I've, um, I don't think they're on the list that you have, but I have a couple of, you know, original songs and that's kind of huge thing for me to but that's going to be to very be exciting them live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited I can't wait we, you know, we'll have a rehearsal the day before the show on the on the Friday with the orchestra so that'll be that'll be fun oh, too that'll be great Fair well listen I'm looking forward to seeing you because um, we, we, um, we we love we love seeing you in concert and we love having you on the radio, on the radio show and everything so listen you keep the faith and uh, we shall see you on Saturday the 11th of June Hayley yes, and, uh, uh, and thank you so much for talking to us today thank you so much Marty not at all now let's see what do we play out with what do you think we should play Play out. That's the question now. Oh. What do we do? Because we can't I'll leave that play. To you shall I? Or what? What? I don't know what you have there. I've got everything. I've got, well, I, I haven't got a lot of the ones you're doing, but I, we've we've lots more though. I wonder what would be nice to be. Like. I, you see, I liked you singing one fine day. Um, ah. when you, when, yeah, I did. I liked you doing that. And of course, River. You do a great take on River. Thank you. I like river. I like this one. Yeah, River. Which River? Which River? The River, the Johnny um, Mitchell River. <laughs> The Joni Mitchell River, yeah. Yes, Joni Mitchell's own river. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's River of Dreams as well. There is River of Dreams. There is Look River at you plugging yeah. the album. There we go. Hey. Yeah, no food. <laughs> We've only left out the Christmas one and we'd have the pack. Listen, keep the faith, Hayley. God bless you and we'll see you on the 11th. Take care. Thanks, Matty. Bye. Not at all. Bye. That's uh, the very Hayley Western all the way from New Zealand and she is performing with the RT Concert Orchestra Saturday the 11th of June at the, uh, at the National Concert Hall. It'll be terrific. And plus the fact that she's having a go at some new directions and stuff, I think it's going to be even more exciting. She's marvellous. And um, ah, look at here's the river. It's coming on Christmas. They're cutting down trees. They're putting up reindeer and singing songs of joy and peace. I wish I had a river. to me to play a Christmas song from 
Well, on one of the hottest summer days. There it is. Haley Western, our seer, tomorrow week at the uh, National Concert Hall. It should be wonderful. And that's uh, Johnny Mitchell's The River. That's a lot for this morning uh, from Sinead, from Michael, from Marty. Have a wonderful, wonderful long weekend. Uh, and we shall talk to you soon, please God. Uh, but keep the faith and uh, I'd mind how you go. Now, just a reminder, down at Bloom as we speak, Miss Evelyn Grant is in, in the standby mode, full of excitement and different. So uh, go say hello to her at Bloom. She's there. She's waiting on you. Uh, and God bless you till, uh, till we speak again. God bless. Take care. Marty in the Morning on RT Lyric FM with the Irish Times. Films, gigs, reviews and interviews. Keep your finger on the pulse with the ticket. Free every Friday.